you. No, <laughs> I couldn't have to get it for me. I'm not tall enough. But give it back. Dun, 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 dun. I have no idea how to work that thing. <laughs> Guys, it's like, this means it's 4.48 my time. Which is not that bad because I've been waking up so early, but so awful. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So, um, I flew to Texas yesterday. If you guys don't know, I got a place here. Um, I am basically changing home base. Dallas is home base. I keep my place in LA. Gonna spend more time in Texas, but gonna be in LA all the time because I work there. Anyways, if you guys are new here, subscribe. This kind of starts off the moving vlogs. I don't actually physically move in until Friday, but we close in the house in like an hour. So I'm gonna go do that and we do like sign papers and stuff. It, a, a lot of papers. And then after that, I don't really know what's on the agenda. Honestly, like my furniture got pushed back and my move in date physically got pushed back. A day because I'm getting all the walls painted all the cabinets painted and then also the backsplash is getting redone I still need to go pick that out my nails are really bad I need to get those done so anyways um this week is like a crazy the next two weeks honestly are like moving weeks this vlog is gonna be like it's a moving vlog but it's like a pre-moving vlog it's just kind of like getting everything from the house um situated so if you guys are new here subscribe follow me on instagram just made some coffee. We're about to head out. I'm so excited. All right. Oh, <laughs> this whole time. This whole time, I thought this had already brewed. It was a journey, but I finally got my coffee. Anyways. Okay, guys. Also, I'm at my dad's house right now. And they had, like, a huge... Fl oh, okay, if you guys have that thing where you guys get freaked out by holes, which I have. I just need you guys to let me know. Oh, God, I'm literally so sorry for showing you that. Anyways, comment down below if that bothers you. Because no one in my family understands why it bothers me so much. But it literally freaks me out. So anyways, I have my coffee. Very exciting. Um, I'm going to do my makeup in the car. Also, because I know I'm going to ask this a thousand bajillion times. Quentin and I are not living together. He is moving into his place in like two weeks. He's been staying at my dad's, but he's moving in. His his own place um, that he moves into on the 14th or 15th or something like that. The 15th, so there we go. Back in Texas, everyone. I literally got off the plane last night and went straight to a Super Bowl party, so I'm back. Wow, so beautiful. I know I made coffee at home and then we left, so here we are. Super jet lag mornings in Plano, Texas. Back at the house. My car is supposed to be picked up on Saturday. It's not Monday. It still hasn't been picked up. So that's been annoying. Then, oh yeah, there's credit card fraud this morning in my card. We closed on the house though. So we also picked up some chairs. I'm really tired, but I have a lot of packages that I've been sending here. Wait, wait these are all from Target. There's a Louis Vuitton, a Chanel, and then a Dior. I thought these were small because they were so cheap. They were like $50 each for a, like a book like this. Coffee table books are like ridiculously expensive. And then I also got the Studio 54 one. But I thought these were going to be so small, so now I don't necessarily know how these are going to work. But anyways, wow. And it was something like buy three, get one free or something, so it ended up working out because I wanted these. I got all of these for like 168 I want to say, which is really good for a coffee table book. Like half the time, one coffee table book is $200. It's actually ridiculous. Like My mom was currently calling me. I also got this acrylic tray set that I'm going to put like probably next to my couch with like magazines in it. We'll see. I'm going to answer now. My mother is here. We're now going to Honor Bar. We just, oh my gosh, guys. I dropped Quentin off at work and then, and he's working out first. And the same, he basically made me go so out of the way and then he left everything. So then we had to go back. So anyways, now we're going to Honor Bar um, for Don't lunch. Time, I know. I, trust me, I wouldn't, mom. Um, we're at Highland Park Village. This is literally where I literally live here. Actually, I do live here now, but um, I'm at, I literally live at Highland Park Village. You know what I mean? So. We're going. I'm so hungry. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. My beautiful favorite place. We're at Honor Bar. It's my mom's first time at Honor Bar. Super our favorite exciting. restaurant. It's in Highland Park Village if you guys live in Dallas. Also, if you live in LA, it's in Beverly Hills. But I got a black coffee. It looks like I've had so many coffees today. Please know I didn't end up drinking the one earlier. And there's no excuse besides about the espresso. Your espresso. And then I just got the kale rotisserie kale chicken salad in Beverly Hills there's no chicken on it but in Texas there is of course all right mother we're now going to home goods all right we're at home goods 
This is what I'm getting so far. The K cups are like literally five dollars. That's so crazy. Cutting boards, cups, and then candles down there. Just random ones, but these are literally so freaking soft. All right, guys, we went to Home Goods. My mom just bought a lake house, so she too is shopping for her new home. Um, but we need to still keep shopping at Park Lane. Oh my gosh. We're at Nordstrom Rack, and if you guys didn't know, they always have Barefoot Dreams blankets for $50 each. These are really expensive blankets that are like, when you have one, you understand. I'm getting this for Quentin for his new apartment as his housewarming gift. And then these two, mom, look at these. Perfect, I'm pretty much done with blankets now. Oh. But I just love Barefoot Dreams. Awesome. They're only 50 instead of, like it's literally half the price of what they normally are. Oh, I know that's expensive awesome. for a blanket. I also love this color. It's just perfect for my couch. Yeah. To have all those. One this one will be for Quentin. That's his oh, like okay. housewarming gift. And then I got some accessories, a new perfume, this for my bathtub, and then two candles. So awesome. that's what I picked up yeah. from here. Got some blankets. I'm pretty much set for blankets in the house now. Very exciting. And they match my house perfectly. And I got my mom the Kapari lip glossy. That stuff is the best thing ever. I sent it out on the newsletter. All right, so here's what we have. I got a lot of stuff actually for that amount. Feeling pretty good. We're in the new house. Um, okay, these are all, everything's getting painted starting tomorrow. I want these white too. Um, and then mainly it's the kitchen that's getting redone. I'm trying to figure out, this is so stupid. This is so dumb that you you can be in the camera. That's okay, you can go. <laughs> Hi dad. Um, so I'm trying to figure out if I'm doing, the only place in the entire house I can basically put a full size mirror would be right here. I don't want to mix the two, dad. I'm just gonna, here's the, here's the idea, guys. I don't know if I want this to be like a built out closet or an office because the room's really small. Here's what I'm, I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna work downstairs and see if I hate it. And then, you just need to live in it for a while. I need to live in it before I even do anything with this room. This is the second bath it's a two and a half bath um i need to get a, oh my gosh my hair i need to get a i think actually last time i was at this house was when i, I wore this sweatsuit you did i don't know i think when we were touring okay over here is my bedroom no daddy you're fine um i'll mount a tv there my bed will go here right and then or i could put my bed here put a mirror here <gasps> Wait, my bed goes here, right? TV's mounted there. Dresser goes there. Full size mirror there. Why don't you Bam. Ask, why aren't you asking your mom? She does it. I'm, that's what I'm asking. That was me asking. I like well, that. I, I personally don't like rooms that you don't walk in and see the bed like coming out. That's true, and I can't see this. this way because you don't have enough. Well, I can't really keep open the door here. with the bed. So, bed. but I do think I would like the bed better coming out this way than this. Yeah, I think I would like that too, and I can just do the full size mirror in there. Dresser. Well, the dresser would have to go here. I don't know how this is gonna work, guys. I literally have no idea. We'll figure it out. And again, I, would have I know. Like this. I. New money is going this is very exciting. My skin fridge. Oh, oh, oh no, that's actually for hair tools. My skin fridge will be plugged in right here. Very exciting. Um, and then my jet bathtub. This will all be white. I don't love the stone, but like, what are you? At this point, I'm not spending fifty thousand dollars on fixing all this. So, here is my closet. You guys have mostly seen, I think, the house if you guys watched the videos. But, yeah, this is where my bags and important shoes will go, I think. I don't really know. I guess I'll figure it out. I need to get hangers. I have a lot of clothes. My update, my car did get picked up today. My roommates gave it to them, and it wasn't a big deal. So, if that worked out, I'll probably get it. I'm assuming now, Friday? I move in here on Friday. All right, guys, so here are half of my bags for things. Oh, shoot. Quid is going to come here tomorrow and see that Barefoot Dreams blanket. I'll just have to go up before him. The one that I got for him. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm really an adult now, but these are my new chairs. Very excited. These will go upstairs. All right, I decided I'm going to go to a little workout. It's weird that that's right there, but um, I'm a little bit hungry, but if I eat right now a full meal, I'll just be like feel sick. So I think I'm going to have a bar. Also, my dad and Quentin are really into these spark things, but it's already sick, so I don't want to be up all night. So I think I'm just going to take half of it and see how I like it. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. All right, guys, so I'm sorry about the windshield wipers. Just made them go faster. Okay, so, oh my gosh, so, 
gonna give my true fusion review after this it is 6 25 i literally got to sit i my classes start at 7 i am so crazy about being early to things especially workout classes especially my first time because i need to sign papers i'm assuming so i'm going to like 6 45 6 40 but um yeah i'm just gonna sit in my car i really like getting to places early and just sitting in my car lock the doors don't worry but yeah i'm excited i'm trying i believe i'm gonna try the bar class tonight there's a lot of options so they have like hot like but most of the classes are heated not all of them from my understanding from stalking the website um there's bar there's hot pilates which they have at 5 45 in the morning which i guess is only 15 minutes earlier than like what i've been doing so that was really dramatic of me and with it being closer like i would wake up at the exact same time so part of me is like maybe i would actually really like that i almost want to go in the morning but i feel like tomorrow is not gonna happen they have a night class here. I don't know what my plan is for tomorrow, but sometime this week I'll go early probably. And then, so hot Pilates, hot yoga. They have a few types of yoga. Bar, they have like circuit training, um, kettlebells, boxing stuff. There's just a lot, like a ton. And literally, guys, I'm gonna tell you guys now what I spent on my unlimited membership of hot Pilates in LA because I fully, it honestly genuinely was fully worth it for me, but. An unlimited membership in Hot Pilates in LA is $300 a month. I know, I know that's absurd, but if I'm gonna spend money on anything, it's gonna be on my health, and like, I'm not gonna justify myself, but truly, it actually was worth it for me. Um, I don't regret a single dime I spent there, but I ended up actually doing the 275 one, what a saved a lot of money hold $25 um because I was on auto pay anyways here they have a deal right now that you guys you can get 30 30 days $30 unlimited just because it's like probably the new year and then after that it's like they have another deal that's like 109 a month unlimited I literally am like oh my gosh I want to die and then yeah that's like a deal I think it's normally like 130 150 or something like that so anyways that is what I'm doing. I'm gonna try out a lot of classes. I think if I like it, I'm probably gonna do the 30 for 30 just to try out new classes. I'm literally so picky in particular. So anyways, also True Fusion is not just in Dallas. They actually have one in LA. Um, they have them all over. There's like a few other, I think there's like 15 other locations or something. I don't know, it's not just here. I'm really excited. Also, whenever it rains, my left knee hurts. I don't know who's calling me. Who is it? Oh, it's my mom. Hello. All right, guys. Update. I actually really liked it. Um, I have some nice lighting from the monitor. But, yeah, it was cool. I did a bar class. I really liked it. It was, like, pretty similar to Pilates. Um, obviously different. Similar, but different. I'm a genius. Um, yeah. Bar just, like, really isolates certain, like, body areas. So, like, certain muscles and stuff. So, you shake and you're like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to die. But then, when we get to moves that I did in Pilates, it was so easy because I knew those. So, but it was actually a really hard class and the actual space itself is huge and the bathrooms are really freaking nice it's like all white marble great lighting all the best like amenities and all that um there's like five studios in there so many different classes it was really cool i'm a big fan actually so i'm thinking i'm gonna do the 30 for 30 dollars because like literally why not that's literally the price of one studio class normally whoa so anyways i'm going home and I will talk to you guys later. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday morning. Um, okay, so I'm at the house. It's getting painted and redone today. Um, we're having some backsplash drama. Might need to redo the countertops already, which I want to do, but didn't want to do immediately because I am not made of money. So it's extreme it, home makeover. Yeah, it's already Texas expensive. Edition. I'm already spending a lot of money, especially on the furniture that I purchased for this place. But I might just have to like bite the bullet and do this now. We'll see. It's my pantry, everyone. But this is the last. We're also getting the brown painted white. I need to get my pantry built out. There's like nothing in there. Um, and a new fridge. It needs to be countered up too. That actually drives me insane. So. All right, we stopped at Toasted for breakfast. I got the avocado toast with an egg. For some reason, orange juice is <laughs> really good this morning. This is a random drink they picked out for me. It's like the. French toast latte of some sort. Um, Kyo, what did you get? I got eggs, scrambled, little cheese, bacon, and then Milano toast. 
Wow, he just learned what that is. AKA the fancy white bread. <laughs> That's you what love they fancy said. Bread. Yeah. So I'm literally so tired, and it's already 9:42. Like I don't know how I'm tired. Life update. Um, by the way, when I'm here, I don't have a room, so I don't think this is on the right setting. It is. Um. <sighs> That's why we're always in here. But anyways, I literally can't breathe right now. Life update on the house. Why does my boyfriend insist on just like putting his clothes literally all over the room at all times? Couldn't tell you. But anyways, um, eventually I am planning on replacing the counters and I was definitely gonna get like white subway backsplash. And so I was just gonna do the subway or the backsplash and replace that like right away and then do the counters later. The reason I also wanna make sure I do the counters later is because I think I might wanna like pull them out a little bit more so I have room for bar stools, but I don't know because I want everything in there and I wanna feel it before I know if I wanna extend and all that stuff. So then my guy was like, okay, well you probably need to do both at the same time. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll just do counters now. But then I'm like, I don't wanna make a rush decision for another project that's like another couple thousand dollars, so. Then I was like, I don't know, because also, I know right now I want to extend, but what if I'm like, oh, there's actually not enough room for that, and I make a bad decision, so, but I hate my backsplash so much, so, um, I don't even hate those countertops, that's the thing that's kind of annoying, but if I do the backsplash now, then when we redo the countertops, which we will eventually, it will mess with the backsplash, so basically I'm just like throwing money down the drain, so, what we decided is we're just gonna do like the nice like sticker backsplash and cover that for now just so I don't go absolutely crazy and then I'll get my kitchen kind of redone in the next few months I honestly don't know kind of just whenever I'm feeling like I need to do it um, I'm still kind of up in the air on if I want that to be that space upstairs to be an office or a closet but since we like purchased this when I say we I don't know why I say we it's my house um, but I think I say we as in like my dad was is like obviously doing this with me and like in the process I'm not referring to Quentin. So I think that's why everyone gets confused I also think because I have a YouTube channel. I just say we and I'm referring to you guys So I never really say I For I don't know. It's just like this weird thing that I do. So anyway, just clarifying But yeah, that is the update on that No new backsplash as of right now and no new counters This has been a real whirlwind of events guys the past few hours but I think it was the best decision to make, and I'm like very, I need everything to be perfect immediately. So it's a hard decision for me to make. But yeah, also still have to do the entire rooftop, guys. That rooftop, outdoor furniture, is so expensive, and I want the whole thing turfed. Like I want it to look like it's an ad in like restoration hardware, essentially. Um, but not for those prices. And also, like, I didn't realize how expensive outdoor furniture was. Like this project is gonna be like a twenty thousand dollar thing. So we're not doing that right now. But I really want to do it soon because, like, it gets so hot in Texas. I'm probably not even going to go up there, like, that much in, like, August because it's so hot. But I would do it in, like, the spring. So, we'll see. Anyway, just, like, voicing things. If any of you guys are any outdoor furniture things, I will work with you. I need help. But, yeah, that is the update on the house and what we have done. I didn't really show you guys hauls of all my stuff, I realized. But I kind of showed you guys as I was getting it. Um, but, so sorry. I just realized that I did that. But everything's in the house. They said, I think now they'll probably be done by Friday. Originally it was Thursday, then it was Friday, and I think since we're not doing the rest of the kitchen stuff, they're only staining, they're only doing the cabinets and the walls and the railing. So I think that that should be probably hopefully by Friday. I want to be moved in this weekend, and hopefully I get my house or my car on Friday. So we'll see. Anyways, all that to say, I just like have been so in my routine, especially the past few weeks, and so like staying with my parents and not having my own space and not having like my clothes out and all of that, I just feel so like jumbled and like I can't really like do anything and it's like raining out and I just wanna lay around but I'm like I really need to work so yeah, it's hard like being out of my routine. I'm not someone who's like, oh my gosh, just go with the flow, like, let's do whatever. Like I want my routine and I want my place and I want it like all clean. Coco, I can hear it downstairs so that's my thing right now but loving it, very excited. Um, my Wi-Fi set up, that's great, yeah. Good morning, everyone. It is now Wednesday, I wanna say. My days are so off, but um, yeah, I actually just unboxed a bunch of stuff for my Boohoo haul that I picked out that I got delivered here. I'm filming some videos today, but first, I really need to get my nails done, so I'm doing that. This is by far a very slow week for me, and I'm just really impatient, as we've already established, but anyways, I'm gonna go get my nails done, and then come back and film, 
edit. I need to go to Costco today. I'm gonna go to a hot Pilates class at like 4.30. Uh, back at True Fusion, so I'll see if I like it. But yeah, I just have this big puffer that's pretty cool because it's like a different material than my other one. Honestly, it looks better in person than in this. You can't really tell, but um, it was supposed to snow today. It didn't. It's just supposed to be like really, really cold. So yeah. This jacket is really loud, but I got my nails done. I got them short and I just did a nice gel. I'm kind of over my long nails right now. I'm really feeling the short, especially because I'm about to be moving. But anyways, I have kind of talked about this, but I feel like I don't know, I guess it's a good thing to talk about. I was just listening to podcasts and feeling great and whatever. I just feel so much more myself when I'm working, on the go, um, just like busier. So this week kind of just being slower and like I literally can't do anything because like, well one, my manager's sick so like we can't like go do stuff and she does live here. And then two, um, I mean the main thing is just that my house is getting redone so like all the things that I want to do I can't really do yet. So, anyways, I'm gonna like film and do a bunch of stuff. Even that though, like I don't really want to film here because I don't love the background as much as the rest and I'm just being really picky, I don't know. But I think because I'm just not in like my routine in my house or whatever, I just feel like I'm kind of going crazy, which is how I felt a little bit over winter break, but winter break is meant to be relaxing. So I think I'm just learning to slow down again and that it's okay to slow down and not be so crazy on the go. Especially because I feel like I'm gonna be working in Texas all the time, but I think especially as putting my time in LA, like LA is gonna be a lot like more work heavy, um, and Texas is like home, even though I love LA. I don't know, I'm just talking out loud, like just things like, I don't know if I'm the only person, but sometimes when I'm not like on the go, on the go, I'm kind of like, okay, like let's go do something. I'm very, I wouldn't even say energetic, but I just love, like I thrive off of doing what I love and what I love happens to be working. Um, and just like, I don't know, like I want to get my house set up and I'm just kind of in this weird in between of like, I want my stuff and my car's not here yet. So anyways, this is not me complaining like literally at all. I love my life. I'm like so grateful that I'm even in this position. It's more so just me being like, I'm kind of like stir crazy right now. So anyways, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go drop Quinton off at Equinox and then I'm gonna go back and get ready, film some videos. I need to film some uh, Instagram stories to send them get that edited and then pilates tonight which i'm excited for we'll see how i like it. all right guys it is a few hours later my hair is a mess i just filmed two videos i filmed alvin fitness q a and then i filmed my boohoo try on haul this is all the clothes i literally had to film in a bathroom because it's the only place in this house that had good lighting and it still wasn't the best like as you can see it's not the best but here we are we did it so anyways we ordered from true food kitchen so I'm going to go eat my lunch that I just got. Um, my dad ordered on DoorDash. <laughs> Link down below for DoorDash. I've really been such a DoorDash person this past like month. I started like this. This came with like matching pants. I just have the wrong bra on for it underneath. Um, and it's really cute and like loungy. But I need perfect slide shoes. Honestly, at this point, I just can't imagine anything besides like the Gucci slides. Like I can't think of another shoe. I need something to replace those. Do you know what I'm saying? So anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what I got and then I'm gonna do some work with times right now. I have, it's 1.44. I need to leave it about two hours for Pilates. So I think I'm gonna put all this stuff away. Honestly, I might even change it to my fitness stuff. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna change yet, but I'm gonna go do some computer work for the next like hour and a half, two hours probably. No, I'll do it for the next two hours. And then head off to my hot Pilates class, the first one here. I'm going back to True Fusion, which I'm really excited for. Um, dear God, look how many clothes I have, guys. So, um, I'm gonna go put these away, and then I'll be back. Okay, so we ordered from True Food Kitchen. I got their Kale Aid juice. I don't know what my dad got. Um, so this is what he got. I got the, um, what is this called? I got a grain bowl. They're like literally the best things ever if you live in dallas they're really healthy all right guys so it is currently like 3 30 and i actually edited both of those videos they're really quick edits but i finished that i just made an order on ikea for the classic like really big mirror i've had for forever that's like only 130 dollars the best full-length mirror ever and it's from ikea and they still sell it um and a few other things and then i ordered from wayfair i ordered all my bedroom stuff and then what else did i get Oh, CB2. I got some accessories. Like, I got a bunch of acrylic stuff that you guys will see next week, which I'm really excited for. So, basically, everything comes Monday through Wednesday next week. So, it's going to be, like, me being there waiting for things to get delivered, 
which is very exciting. I'm also getting a mattress scent and I don't know when that's coming. Anyways, I'm actually importing some footage from my camcorder, like this video camera that I have, that's super fun. Just to see, I wanna start doing like Instagram videos and stuff, but in like 15 minutes, I'm gonna go change. Oh, my lips are so chapped and get ready for Pilates. I'm really excited to take, some, to take it. We'll see how I like it. All right, guys, so it is currently 4.15. Um, I'm gonna go to the hot Pilates class at 4.30. I feel like a 4.30 class, 5 p.m. class is good because it breaks up like a work day from the rest, but I feel like 4.30 is a little bit early. I don't know, just thinking out loud, guys, what time do you like working out? I prefer early morning because I love how it um, gets my day going. Anyways, the bra I'm wearing is Fabletics, and then I'm just wearing Lulu black leggings. And then I have my Boohoo puffer jacket that I now love. My Aritzia one um, is from, I just realized I have this. My Aritzia one is in my car right now. I'm getting mailed here or shipped here, not mailed here. Um, but I've been getting a lot of questions too on if you guys think the Aritzia puffer is still worth it to buy now. As it's already February, like depending on where you live, that's like a pretty pricey thing to pay. If you're gonna get enough wear out of it, 100% it's worth it. If not, I would just get this one if you just want the look of it. But like I probably wouldn't buy the Aritzia puffer right now had I not bought it two months ago just because like I'll probably be able to wear it for the next like month or so, two months. I don't know. It just really depends. Honestly, Texas weather's all over the place. It's actually really cold today. What is the weather today? It was supposed to snow, but it didn't. I think it's like 35 or 40. Anyways, it's cold, guys. But I'm about to walk in, and I'm really excited. I'm like actually so excited. I think I'm even more grateful for like working out and stuff for like when I'm out of my routine almost because it's like one hour that I get to like go back to do something that I love and I feel good and I feel like I have like more control. Maybe this is all like a weird controlling my schedule thing, but yeah, I'm drinking some water. I brought a whole water bottle, but Quentin left this for me. All right, I'm out of Pilates. <sighs> it, I feel good. Um, It feels like Honestly, the light stem, it's kind of a similar vibe to Pilates. It's just like, I would compare it to a teacher at Pilates that I'm thinking of that I don't love as much as Daylight. Um, the good news is, that class was very similar to a certain Pilates class at Hot Pilates. The bad news is, it wasn't my favorite one at Hot Pilates. So, that is a good step in the right direction. Um, I think I'll be able to find, hopefully, if I find a teacher like Daylight, then we're pretty much set. Anyways, I'm gonna go home and shower, and then I need to go to Costco with my dad really exciting adult things I made my last final orders for the time being for a bit I say that because who knows from Wayfair Ikea I just got the Ikea mirror and CB2 today so I need to get my TV into some Costco stuff and then yeah hopefully that's it for my big purchases for a while all right so my dad canceled our really exciting evening plans of going to Costco. So I'm actually just gonna work here instead um, for the next few hours and then go to bed because it's already eight. But I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm picking up my car now. The guy called me at first, it was gonna be 6 a.m. Now it's gonna be 7 a.m. So I'm gonna pick up my car from him in the morning and I'll have a car friendly, which is exciting. We're getting so close to move-in date, which I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so pumped. Oh my gosh. All my furniture is getting delivered between Monday and Wednesday of next week. So it's perfect. Texas sunrise. Oh, I'm so tired. <sighs> Big mood. <laughs> no Starbucks yet. But we're picking up Kinsey's car. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> the Queen of Texas is back. <laughs> oh, the maps. Let's see, let's see what they're saying. Yeah, super close. Wow. <laughs> this sunrise. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that's the shot. Love you. Yeah. 186. Alright guys, my car has made it. Oh my gosh, it is so cold. Guys, okay. If you are moving and you're ever moving a car, whatever you do, do not use the auto. Hold on, I'll actually find out. Um, okay, so I'm actually in my kitchen now as I'm editing this. I don't want to get sued, so I don't really want to talk exactly about what the company was, but like when you Google shipping your car, it was like one of the first ones, it starts with an A. Um, anyways, they, like the guys, 
they set you up with people i got set up with this carrier that like i'm pretty sure whatever they're doing is illegal and they like called me on the phone and they're like listen up little girl like you're not gonna get your car we're putting it in storage and all this stuff that was crazy because they were claiming i hadn't paid my deposit which they wouldn't have been able to pick up my card without the deposit and it was off of my card and then i will say i got fraud while they had my car or whatever whenever it was charged so i really think that it was them for fraud and they're like trying to like intimidate me and quentin was there and i really don't get intimidated so that didn't really work on me but yeah it was literally the worst experience ever one of the dogs just got into something um they sucked but i ended up getting my car back and yeah but they were literally the worst ever when i called the company who set us up they were like are you safe we've had problems with them before i'm like are you actually kidding so and this isn't even me not doing research like they set you up with companies like people have like great reviews i know people who've used them so i guess it was just like a one-time thing but it was so bad oh my gosh got my breakfast guys omg casey just came out with a candle this is the best thing ever it is so bright oh my gosh my car is so dirty guys so the heater isn't working in my car so i think they just stole parts from my car i'm not kidding um but i was having a rough day and then i spent 50 dollars on casey musgraves a new candle and suddenly i don't know how that made me feel better but i feel better oh my gosh cute did i ever show you my christmas present my other christmas present from morgan this is my late christmas present from morgan that she ordered in like october for me isn't it so good? Oh, we love the urban graphics. Wow. Ooh, beautiful updates. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh. This is my stepbrother, Seth. He's getting ready for his. He acts like he's never been in a vlog. Seth, we've literally been siblings since you were like eight years old. You've been in a vlog before. Anyways, Seth so kindly asked me to get lunch with him today. So cute. So we're at La Madeline. This is my favorite soup ever the tomato basil soup here is so freaking good oh my gosh here we go my stepbrothers on my other side nick and ryan used to work here so this used to cost me like a dollar with my family discount in high school so good <laughs> apparently i'm not moving in oh my gosh I'm not going to be able to move in until Saturday at the earliest, which is fine. I have decided that I'm taking myself and Coco, who desperately needs a haircut. My dad likes her hair really long, so he refuses to cut it. What? She doesn't like that I don't like her haircut either. Coco. But I just got her this cute... Oh my gosh, guys. If you guys didn't know, she's been in Dallas for the past month. But I got her this really cute little harness from Wild One. Um, and this like really nice leash, and then it has like her little bag thing attached to it so we're very excited about that um quentin and i are all of my family is out of town this weekend so quentin and i are in charge of watching bentley who is everyone's favorite dog he is um my mother's dog and he's the best dog ever quentin's really excited so anyways i'm gonna go to dallas so i'm gonna go to my hometown for the night which is like a 40 minute drive away and oh, my grandma and i are getting dinner she just texted me so anyways i'm gonna head there let's see what the drive will be i'm gonna revamp it's gonna be great my night away will make me feel better oh 58 minute drive okay great but <laughs> great so anyways i i also just like got ready because i feel like i haven't been ready all week and i'm just making myself feel better and i'm getting out of the house and it's gonna be good so that's what we're doing coco is going on a little journey with me she's going on a little road trip girl are you ready <gasps> yeah yeah i can tell she really loves me she's so over me right now hi good morning everyone i don't know why i'm starting this vlog out here honestly it's because i've been vlogging so much in my car lately but i find oh my gosh quentin i just got the phone with him all right everyone so we're in the car now um i'm feeling a lot better there's a few things i'm just gonna kind of open up i feel like I used to be really good at opening up and now I'm just like really not I literally don't do it um oh I wish that my car heater worked actually bizarre um okay so I think that one I like obviously I love Texas more than anything ever and I'm like really happy to be here this is not like a, oh I wish I didn't move type thing it's just that like one I was on my period this week two I was completely off my routine I had no control over my schedule I really like working I really like doing all this I just want to be in my house I don't like feeling like I'm imposing not that I feel like I'm imposing at all obviously in my family's houses but like 
I just like want my place and it's just been a lot of work for everyone and then on top of that I think there's like added anxiety that gets brought up and like I've had anxiety and depression like my entire life I haven't struggled with depression necessarily as much in the past few years at all but I don't know actually I don't want to say that I think being home can make it harder sometimes just because of things that I've like gone through here or like I like I don't even want to talk about it but like just like awful things have happened in the past few years and I feel like it was great for me that I was able to escape but I feel like also like my entire family was here and dealt with it and I kind of just like left does that make sense and it wasn't really like not necessarily good or bad I think there's a mix of both so anyways that's a little uh, recap as to why I think I've been feeling a little bit weird but also I just want to say like I thought it was just important to talk about this a little bit because one I think it's like important for me to talk about and two I think I don't ever want you guys to think that like every single week I have a super productive and super great and obviously like <laughs> that has not really been this week and I'm just kind of going crazy I've literally all I have done this week is well I mean I've done a lot of computer work and stuff but spend money I don't know like it's okay to have an off week every now and then like I had another off week in January so I don't know yeah I love my life I'm so unbelievably grateful but like obviously like some things are hard and I think I come back here and it just like reminds me that things are hard sometimes which is good I think that honestly being back here if nothing else is gonna my family it's gonna be the best thing for like my family um but yeah anyways so today is gonna be a fun Friday was I supposed to move in today yes but I'm not so hopefully I'm moving in tomorrow um today's gonna be the last day of this vlog but Quentin is off I spent the night at my mom's house like up in the suburbs so Quentin is working out at Equinox right now and then he's driving up because he's off today and I'm gonna make us a cute little brunch and I'm gonna clean up my mom's house because oh something that also makes me feel really good if I'm feeling off one, waking up, getting back into my routine, working out in the morning, reading. Um, have I done really any of those things today? Not really. Um, helping other people though, that's like one of the things that like really makes me feel good. I don't I I don't know why. I mean it makes sense, I guess. But my mom just bought a lake house. They close in a few weeks and so she's been buying a bunch of stuff for the lake house. So it's like all over her townhouse right now. So she's kinda going crazy. And then had to go out of town last second, so they actually left this morning like five AM. So, normally their house is the cleanest house you'll ever see, and so I know it's stressing her out, so I'm going to clean it this morning, and then they're going to come home and be surprised to a clean house on Sunday. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to the grocery store, and we're going to get some breakfast this morning. Um, yeah, it's going to be a good day, guys. I'm in a much better mood now. Maybe it's Tom Thumb. Comment down below what your grocery stores are. Honestly, Texas has, like, a lot. There's Albertsons, Kroger, Market Street. There's a lot. But Tom Thumb, am I, I feel like I'm forgetting big ones. Um, it's always interesting though. ATB, but that's more south. Dallas doesn't actually have ATB. Wow, this is how you know you're back in Texas. Okay, so I have my stuff for breakfast. So cute. There's so much stuff for Valentine's Day. It's unreal. All right, guys. I don't know what it is about grocery shopping, but it's just so therapeutic to me. So anyways, I just got some protein pancakes eggs the good bacon that's like way more expensive than i even realized it was i realized that upon checking out um but i'm gonna head home and clean up a little bit and hopefully get some editing in and then start cooking being single being in a relationship all these questions kind of correlate more with like sad all right guys i just did a ton of dishes very proud of myself um i need to make some coffee i haven't even had coffee yet i really like these mugs I always have like my favorite mugs that I use at my mom's house. It's these in my dad's house. It's the white Starbucks mugs you guys always see. But, oh my gosh, I've never had this. Kona Red. Also, what are your favorite K-Cups? I think I'm gonna do the Colombian. I love Colombian coffee. So I always go for that. Here we go. I was texting Brooke and also watching Brooke's new video with Gretchen, love them. Currently listening to Casey Musgraves, and I'm working on my um, newsletter that's going out this weekend. If you guys have not already signed up for the newsletter, you guys need to sign up. 
this is just what it is as of right now. I haven't um, updated it for this week fully. I've just added my favorite podcast, Lauren's. It actually really is my favorite podcast right now. My products, I already know what I'm gonna do. All of these, so excited. You know what? I'm really feeling Dolly Parton right now, so I think I'm gonna um, do a little Dolly Parton quote there. Hi guys, welcome to my cooking show. It's my cooking show, Quentin. Thank you. <laughs> Name that if you if you know that that viral picture. <laughs> okay, so I'm making protein pancakes. So we have, I feel like these are just the best protein pancakes. One cup of this, we got them with chocolate chips, and then one cup with water. Oh my gosh, guys! So I'm going to Nashville next month. It's not my cooking show, but I'm just assisting. See, my head's not even in the oh, frame. Oh my god, calling me. Tall people problems. So okay, while she's yay. talking on the phone, I got. Vanilla almond butter. Okay, noon tomorrow sounds good. I don't know if it's focusing. I might do that. Honey, yeah. cinnamon, peanut butter. Well, Quentin will stay at your place tonight, regardless. And then peanut butter. Yeah. Peanut butter. He is working as a So we'll put that on top of the chocolate chip protein waffle. Okay, cool. Or pancake. And then syrup. Alright, love you. Bye. I can move in tomorrow at noon. So, get ready. Are you gonna love it? Here we go, guys. One cup of. The protein pancake. Anyways, so guys, this morning I did a lot of outreach to podcasts. That's half of having a podcast is literally outreach. I'm not kidding. I emailed so many people. This bowl is way too big for what I'm trying to do. My parents have these really awesome, like... Unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Switching to this bowl. I emailed a lot of people. Hi, Cody. I'm filming a cooking show right now. What? I'm making protein pancakes. Do you want some? Siblings just really love you so much. I need one cup water. So anyways, I emailed a lot of people and I'm very excited for my Nashville trip. We've been looking at Airbnbs and doing all that stuff. I also did some homework. Not fun, not glamorous. Okay, I'm just going to use a spoon because there's really nothing else today. Wow. Do you want to be in charge of the eggs? That would be excellent. Never mind, I can do that. Sorry, I won't make any more yolks. <laughs> I was telling Quentin that when we first, I mean, it's hard to say because we were friends before, but like when things first started developing into more than friends, you're literally not listening to me. Um, my mom came to town to visit and I was like, I don't know, mom. Like, I literally was like, he just makes a lot of dad jokes. Like, that's what I said. And then after you, we had a family dinner and then Quentin came over. And he's obviously trying to impress my mom because he had a huge crush on me. And my mom was like, oh, I didn't even notice the dad jokes. I think he's so cute and sweet. And she's like, you'd be such an idiot. So the dad jokes are really, I think, our barrier. That was, that was like. The barrier? The in between us, yeah. The dad jokes. Because nah. it's just not my style. Like, we're actually very different as human beings. Every time I say it to Quentin, he like wants to But cry. I think because I'm so <laughs> different, that's why you like me. That's my favorite. We're also, like, I don't know how to describe it. I We are the most alike people in the world, but we're also so different. Like, even my dad was laughing the other day with Quentin and his routine. He's, like, so sad in his routine. And he was like, yeah, wow. And I was like, exactly. That's literally me. So, this is my cooking show. Putting mix and water together, everyone. Um, we will continue on with the day. I need chopstick really bad. It's in my purse. All right, we just made our very late brunch. It's 1 p.m. It's 1.30, actually. Been listening to Nora Jones. This is my new music for Texas playing out throughout my house. Will be Nora Jones and Casey Musgraves only. But we made protein pancakes. We're gonna put some peanut butter syrup on, eggs, and then we made so much bacon. So I don't know if I'm gonna yeah. be able to eat all this, but a couple different. Oh yeah, Q came prepared. He went to the store because I accidentally got something wrong, and he really gave us lots of options for the peanut butter. We ended up watching the Aaron Hernandez docu-series, I guess. All three episodes. Really good. Now we're watching the morning show. We just ordered from Brothers Pizza. Um, it's so freaking good, but it's like, what time is it? 7.35. I'm going to end off today's vlog because I move in tomorrow at noon. We have some great bread. Really good lobster ravioli. Oh my gosh, and the best chocolate cake ever. When I say this is the best chocolate cake, you'll ever have. I mean it. It's so freaking good. We have so much stuff. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed probably this really long vlog and I hope you're excited for me to move into my house tomorrow. Um, but I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys actually tomorrow. But 
it'll be posted soon.